Newly endorsed Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-wan signaled his debut, kicking off a four-day interpolation session at the National Assembly. Lawmakers grilled the government over the MERS outbreak and discussed ways to resume dialogue with North Korea. Our Kim Young-gil tells us more. Korea's new Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-wan was in the hot seat Friday, facing questions from lawmakers about the government's response to the MERS outbreak, as well as the current countermeasures against it. The MERS crisis has tarnished South Korea's image as a hygienic and medically developed country. What are the government's plans to tackle this crisis? The government lacked efforts to contain the virus in its initial stages. Now the government has a one-to-one -one management system responding to the MERS outbreak. We are mobilizing all-out efforts to wipe out the disease and easing concerns stemming from the international community. Pang also said he will mobilize medical teams from the military, as well as government staff to assist doctors and nurses at MERS stricken hospitals. Shifting gears to the government's policies towards North Korea, opposition lawmakers criticized the administration's lukewarm response to the North's recent statement that Pyongyang was open to holding talks with Seoul. With such rare statements, we must increase contact with the North, including the option for summit talks. What do you think? It is time for the South and the North to hold talks. The government is more than willing to hold substantive dialogue without conditions attached. We are willing to hold talks whenever it is necessary. Lawmakers said the comprehensive dialogue should also include the possibility of lifting the so-called May 24th measures, a set of sanctions that prohibits all inter-Korean exchanges. Seoul leveled the sanctions in 2010 after the South Korean warship Cheonan was sunk by North Korea. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.